Welcome to yet another episode of Binge Watch. Today we are talking about the OG of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. We are talking about the movie that kickstarted MCU. We are talking about John Favreau's Iron Man One, starring Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark, aka Iron Man. So let's go. Okay, so this movie is so special because we of course have Robert Downey Jr. coming back at the helm of things. Uh, he defeated the big bad of the Avengers movies. We had him defeating Thanos in Avengers Endgame. But he decided let's just come back as the big bad in the forthcoming Avengers movies. He's of course going to be back in the Russo Brothers directed and Stephen McKeeley written Avengers Doomsday as Doctor Doom and also in Avengers Secret Wars. I'm super pumped and what better opportunity to talk about Iron Man, the first movie that kickstarted everything into this mega $30 billion franchise that the Marvel Cinematic Universe is of course owned by Disney and this movie is so special uh, because I remember watching it and I was really blown away mind you Iron Man is not the biggest superhero in the uh, Marvel comics but uh, his presentation has clearly made him the main entity of uh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe of course with uh, the likes of Captain America Thor and Black Widows and Spider-Mans and whatnots but this movie was so special it had a lot of production delays if I'm not to be mistaken, half of this movie was directed without a script. They would improvise. John Favreau, the director, the masterful director, who then went on to direct some incredible movies like Chef, one of my personal favorites. Also, uh, The Jungle Book, The Lion King, also incredible episodes of uh, The Mandalorian, which if I'm not to be mistaken, he also created uh, for uh, Disney Plus uh, or you're on Disney Plus Hotstar. What an incredible movie. It really got Robert Downey Jr. back as a main Hollywood star, a mainstay. And then he went on to do some incredible movies, which include the likes of the Sherlock Holmes franchise and nine other portrayals as Tony Stark, AKA Iron Man. And let's talk about what I particularly love about this movie. But before we get into what I particularly love about Iron Man, the first movie, Iron Man 1, let's talk about the plot of Iron Man 1. Okay, so after being kidnapped by a powerful terrorist organization, brilliant industrialist Tony Stark narrowly escapes using an iron suit he crafted from scrap metal and spare parts. Upon returning home, he devotes all of his time and resources to perfecting the Iron Man suit and using it to fight evil, sometimes in the place where he least expected it. So here's what I really love about Iron Man. Firstly, the incredible casting. You had uh, Robert Downey Jr. cast as uh, Tony Stark, aka Iron Man, which he eventually becomes through the course of the movie. There was a lot of speculation about Tom Cruise actually playing the role of Tony Stark and Iron Man. And he was reportedly also going to be a part of Doctor Strange uh, uh, 2, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness as an evil variant of uh, Tony Stark, but I'm so happy that Robert Downey Jr. did it. Much like Hugh Jackman playing Wolverine, I feel Robert Downey Jr. has really owned the role and what incredible casting. But speaking of the other cast members as well, you of course had uh, the incredible Terrence Howard playing the role of Rhodey, Colonel Rhodey. Uh, his friend uh, who becomes War Machine eventually and was played by Don Cheadle in the forthcoming movies and then you had the incredible the dude Jeff Bridges uh, playing the role of Iron Monger. You of course had Gwyneth Paltrow playing the role of Pepper Potts and uh, who later goes on to be uh, Tony Stark's love interest as well and you had the incredible uh, voice portrayal of Paul Bettany as Jarvis who later of course went on to become Vision in the Marvel Cinematic Universe but all in all what a stacked cast and so many other incredible cast members as well but what I really love about this movie is the trial and tribulation that they show of Tony Stark even though he has all the resources in the world he really devotes his time and energy and attention to make this incredible suit come to life that too in a cave and when he comes back much like I mentioned in the plot of Iron Man 1 he makes all these different suits of Iron Man and becomes Iron Man and then avenges uh, the death of his scientist friend in the cave and it's an incredible uh, moment but I'm going to particularly talk about what I love in uh, the first Iron Man in my favorite part of the show which is called my favorite <laughs> Okay, time for my favorite. Let's talk about my favorite characters from Iron Man 1. Of course, how can we not mention the elephant in the room, which is Iron Man himself. Tony Stark played incredibly by Robert Downey Jr. What an incredible portrayal. Something that is, of course, a standout in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Even though his character died in 2019 in Avengers Endgame, it's still considered to be the benchmark of acting performances. One of the benchmarks of acting performances, if not the only. And uh, so brilliantly portrayed, so true to the comic book portrayal of the character and brought out so wonderfully by John Favreau on uh, the silver screen. I really love Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark and I feel the personalities even blend a little bit when you see Robert Downey Jr. in interviews outside and of course the dude Mr. Uh, Jeff Bridges who's so incredible uh, in the movie Gwyneth Paltrow, uh, Terrence Howard, and of course Paul Bettany just like I mentioned as Jarvis. 
uh, of course Tony Stark's companion who's constantly talking to him is the AI model that he's created and uh, let's talk about my favorite scenes and moments uh, from Iron Man 1 so my favorite moment is actually that of Tony Stark creating the first Iron Man suit in the cave how he creates that first Iron Man suit and hoses fire and escapes his way out of course the whole sequence of him creating the other suits in uh, his garage I don't know what you call it of course his big 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 mansion in which he has a lot of supercars and he's creating the suit and uh, he's trying to have the repulsors uh, do their thing properly and then him suiting up and that mask going down that iconic shot of Tony Stark actually breaking the roof and flying for the first time what a brilliant portrayal and of course Jeff Bridges scene uh, towards the end where uh, we have Iron Monger's character removing the arc reactor from Tony Stark's heart and Tony Stark going and finding the arc reactor and the final fight between the both of them what incredible moments so memorable you know you've had so many portrayals of Iron Man through the course of the MCU but this one really stands out and uh, I genuinely love this movie but in binge watch uh, you of course have me ranting and blabbering and yapping about movies that I love but in this part of the show we have a celebrity intervention as well which we like to call your favorite we had my favorite but we have your favorite we have a celebrity in our studio is going to be telling us what is that TV show or movie series that they've been binge watching and uh, we're going to turn it to them so here goes welcome to mid episode of binge watch and with me today we've got someone really special that i'm uh, getting the opportunity to talk to we with dhruv uh, he is of course excited for uh, just like us excited for uh, his new album private visit two uh, four tracks of it are out uh, yet uh, dhruv i'd like to ask uh, to you what is it that uh, you like to binge watch in terms of movie shows or tv series the one that comes to mind is this show called call my agent it's like the of course There's a great one. Have you seen the? I I I've only watched the original version, but I know that there's spinoffs. Like, there's an Indian version of it as well. I that I, I, that I haven't watched. I can't speak to that one, but I watched the one that's like the French one. Right. That's my favorite. That's your favorite. That's my. That's the one show that I can like repeatedly. It's a comfort watch for you. It's a comfort watch. It's just so. It's just so smart. So funny. Right. I love it. What about the usual suspects like uh, the offices and the friends of the world? What do you think about that? I if it's on, I'll watch it. But I have. <laughs> okay. But I have. I'm not like a religious. Like my sisters watch Friends. I don't know how many times, and I, I there are definitely episodes that I haven't seen. Right. So, right. I, the Usual Suspects. I'll, I'll watch when they're on. Modern Family is another Usual Suspect. Oh, I love it. Yeah, yeah for sure. And in terms of movie series, something that you go back to. In terms of movies, I'm not a, like I don't like rewatching movies that much. I feel like my attention when I know what's gonna happen. The yeah. Plot, when the and they don't give me the same comfort that a TV show would. They don't like uh, spend my time. But I would say a movie that I. have watched multiple times and still found like really compelling was like Gone Girl which is a very rogue one oh, but yeah. I re- recently rewatched it and I thought it was like as good as like the first time I saw right it. right of course David Fincher yep and uh, yes well thank you so much for the recommendations please go and check out and another recommendation for y'all is this incredible album by Dhruv it's called Private Blizzard please go and stream that on all streaming platforms thank you so much for that Dhruv thank you thank you Okay so that's it for today's celebrity intervention aka your favorite on uh, today's episode of binge watch of course we talk about iconic tv shows and movie series right here so if there's anything that you particularly like about iron man or robert downey jr's portrayal of iron man please do comment down what are your favorite moments and characters from iron man or all his incredible portrayals through the course of the marvel cinematic universe all these years he's really entertained us big ups to him and also how excited are you for him coming back in the marvel cinematic universe as doctor doom in avengers doomsday and avengers Secret Wars in May 2026 and May 2027 of course directed by the incredible Russo brothers written by Stephen McKelly so excited for that i'm so happy that we are covering iron man today and uh, iron man 1 is such a favorite for many many believe that it's one of his finest movies in the marvel cinematic universe and we've had many great movies but thank you so much for watching and big shout out to dio man who's right behind the camera who shoots and edits which was so much of passion and precision he's of course the producer of our show and uh, we're going to see you in the next episode until then please do subscribe to radio one international we bring out some incredible content for you uh, that you can watch almost every day we've got some brilliant content creators and a wonderful team working behind all these videos so we'll really appreciate so we'll really appreciate your support uh, comment down subscribe share you know the deal and uh, we'll see you in the next episode until then it's me your host bharat i'll see you bye bye 94.3 radio 1